Yo, what is going on guys? Mike here. Today we are back at again with another video and as you can tell from the title This is gonna be my Pluto custom camo tutorial video before I get into actually how to create and use the cameras on plutonium There's a couple things that you're going to need So the most important thing is you need Photoshop get it somewhere figure out how to get it pay for it You know crack it do whatever you have to do Second thing is you need my camo pack. The reason you need the camo pack is because Pluto is a little different and it likes to use a very specific dimension for the camo itself. First things first, I'm just gonna go over my camo pack a little bit. Um, as you can see here, I have AW Psychedelic, BO3 Gem, which is what we're gonna make right now, BO3 Haptic, BO3 Ice, Transgression, Gold, Ghost, Spectrum, and this is Zebra. Zebra's not, it's just like its own camo. As you see here, this is the converter. Another thing that you do need is a DDS plugin for Photoshop. I'm gonna link one down in the description so you can go ahead and download that. So if you want to create your own camo, what you need to do is, is literally just copy this and then paste it and boom you'll have a copy so you can work with and then once you have your copy which is what i did so i have transgression right here but it's in my bo3 gem now once you copy all of the files literally just delete these iwi files they don't really matter for right now so you just want to really have this these little dds files in your thing once you deleted the iwis what you're going to do is literally just highlight everything drag and drop into photoshop um i'm going to go over a little brief explanation of what these layers are individually if you want more of an in-depth tutorial i have another link that will be down below go it's about 10 minutes long it goes into like how to actually use it for like redacted this file cybertron col is the base of the weapon same thing with spc rgb this right here is what it would look like in the menu screen reveal the black part is going to be the base of the weapon so spc rgb and col are going to fit in this black part of the weapon and the white part is going to be what glows um heat as you can see here it's red um i recommend that when you're making your own camo you keep this on a very very low opacity um, this is what's going to be in this white section and glow. I use, I just use this little texture sometimes for different camos. I have to swap it out, but this seems to work best for all of my camos that actually, uh, fit into certain areas. So to start things off, like I said, we're going to be doing a BO3 gem camo. So right here, we're going to go to the base of the weapon. Now the base is in carbon fiber. So I'm just going to create a new layer and delete it. The base is more of like a matte black kind of all you really need to do in order to get these textures is you can make them completely by yourself you can rip them from game files or you can just go on google and find them i ripped the template that i need for the camo from bo3 but i do not have the matte finish so i'm gonna have to go on google and get it so i'll be back okay so i imported this matte texture Literally, all I'm gonna do is just mess with it a little bit because the background of the weapon is not gray, it's black. So I'm just gonna go into color overlay and do some stuff and try and get this black as best as I possibly can on this weapon. Okay, so now that I got my texture kind of in the color range that I want it, keep COL and RGB the same. All I did was copy and paste it in here. So these two layers are pretty much exactly the same. Now, now we're gonna move into the reveal. I have a file here on my desktop, which is kind of like what I wanna base this off of. Like I said, another really big explanation is this white part is what's going to be glowing. The black part is basically what's going to be filled in by the RGB and the COL. So I actually want this to be purple. So I'm going to go to heat. Now I have this red ocean texture for my transgression, but I really want that same effect. So all I'm gonna do here is just create a hue and I'm gonna make this purple. Now, when it comes to actually importing a texture, once you import your texture and you do what you want, so you want to have that background, um, one thing that's very important is, like I said, you want to keep your opacity at 1%. Um, it's right here, just hit 1%. 1% works a lot better because the image is dark and it's kind of overlaid. Um, I can't really explain it well, but the image that you are trying to project on the weapon will not show up because it glows too bright is kind of the best way I can explain it. And then when it comes to your glow, I keep this as this because it seems to work the best for me. Um, but now that I have everything done for this camo, all I'm gonna do is just file save as and then make sure i go down here to dds and then since i copied and pasted the folder all it's going to do is just replace them so uh, after i save all my files i will show you what's next okay so now once you have everything saved all you're going to do is open to the folder that you saved everything and you're going to open my camo pack right here you can see the iwy dds fast converter all you do is highlight all of these these and drag them onto that converter the reason why i use this is because it will convert the dds's to the iwis designated for the game that i'm doing this on so i just press one for black ops 2 and boom 
all the IWIs are here in the folder. So now when it comes to actually using these camos, all you're gonna do is open your Pluto directory, go to T6R, data, and images. If you don't have an images folder, just create one yourself. And all you do is highlight the IWIs and drag and drop, boom. So all you need to do is literally just load up Plutonium, create a custom games and put the camo on your weapon. So now once you load it into Plutonium, all you need to do is go to Custom Games, create a class, and put the camo on your class. This one replaces Cyborg. It seems to be a lot easier for me to work with Cyborg than others. You guys might be able to do like Paladin or Dragon or any other camos, but the one that I know how to work with the best is Cyborg. All I'm going to do is just start the game, and I like to start on Plaza because it's a dark map so I can see the camo a lot better. So now when you actually load into the game and you create your camo, don't expect it to be like a masterpiece directly like right here it's kind of iffy like as you can see it's red i don't i just have to go in and change it <laughs> it's not supposed to be red now like i said don't expect your camo to look like a masterpiece after your first attempt of doing this um i clearly fucked up so i'm actually gonna go in and i'm gonna go back into my photoshop and work with the files a little more to see what i can do so i'll be right back <laughs> So after actually messing around with these files for a bit, I wasn't able to get the camo to look exactly how I wanted it to, but I went on the Plutonium forum and I found out somebody actually made this camo. Um, so shout out to him, his name's Dovac. I took his files, I only took these two because these are the main files that I really needed. Uh, the heat was not really showing up the way I wanted it to, so I actually was looking for an image. And I just went on the Pluto form and someone actually made this. So shout out to Dovac. Um, I imported them into my game and I'm just gonna load it up and see what it looks like. Hopefully it looks a lot better than how it looked previously. So actually, as you can see, this camo looks pretty fire, I'm not gonna lie. Honestly, I would have been searching for a lot longer than like 35, 40 minutes for a couple files if I didn't go on the Pluto form and see if somebody actually made this camo. <laughs> but then again, if you guys have any trouble, please hit me up on Twitter. And if I can't respond, then you can go to comment on my YouTube video or you can come to my stream, you know, do whatever. And if I'm actually incapable of helping you, then you can go on the Pluto form. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm just gonna show you guys a little showcase of the other camos in this weapon pack. Anyways, drop a like, comment, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.